Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today's video is hopefully going to be a Trader Joe's haul. Mason and I are trying to get out of our neighborhood. They are paving the streets, so it's gonna be kind of like a maze to get out of here. And then we have a little bit of a drive to Trader Joe's, but we love going there and I'm hoping to get a bunch of their fall goods to stock my fridge for a little bit. So we figured we would take you along for the ride. trek here we are at one Loudon, which is a really cute area if you guys are near it I definitely recommend checking it out there's so many cute restaurants Trader Joe's of course and it's looking really fall festive so I will try and show you guys a little bit and then show you the haul when we go Okay guys, we made it home and we have this massive haul. The drive home took so long, we got caught behind a school bus and of course all of their stops. But Mason had a blast at Trader Joe's. He loved trying the samples. And we did like a massive haul only because the Trader Joe's is so far away. And we like to stock up on all of our favorites and have it for a good bit of time. So that's why it does look like a lot here. But we're just kind of gonna go down the row and I'll tell you all the things that we got. I got this salsa verde. I thought this would be really good to put in the crock pot with chicken. This is kind of out of order too, actually. Next, I wanted to show you this organic vanilla fudge chip ice cream. It's really good, my husband loves it, and I'm gonna go toss it in the freezer because it will melt within seconds. Moving along, Mason was very fond of picking out these and I can't blame him. Petite pumpkin spice cookies. These were probably, I can't say the healthiest, but like one of the better pumpkin treats that you could find at Trader Joe's. So that's why I went with those. Even if he had one as like a special treat, that's fine. And mama will definitely be enjoying these too. If you saw my last video, I talked about these pumpkin cranberry crisps. They're so good. You can have them with like cheese spread, different things. I like to have those when they come out for the season. These panda puffs for Mason. He's almost out of his box. Sometimes he likes them for breakfast or like a snack. This was new, organic pumpkin spice granola bark. Again, like one of those pumpkin treats that's not the worst one for you. Um, so we will really enjoy that. I wanted some mini pumpkins for the front porch and Mason absolutely loved picking those out. He was showing them around to all of the employees at Trader Joe's and just so ecstatic that they were his to take home. So those will be going outside and they were fairly inexpensive. I think they were 69 cents a piece. So pretty comparable to anywhere else, I think. The dark chocolate sea salt caramels, they come in these tiny little boxes now, but I guess that's a good thing, so we don't eat them all. All right, getting into some frozen goodness, we have this cheesy spaghetti squash casserole. I had this last year and it was so yummy, so I had to get it again this year for sure. And then, I'm not sure if they had this one or not last year, but the butternut squash mac and cheese. Yum. I try not to eat too much cheese, but this was just calling my name. I figured it would be like a really good side dish for my husband and I. The sweet potato gnocchi. Normally I get the cauliflower one, but I thought since I was going with kind of like a pumpkin fall theme with my food, this would be really good. 
next we got some shelled edamame. I like to put these as a side dish for my husband for his lunches. This was a new one, riced cauliflower and butternut squash risotto. Yum, this sounds so good. Can't wait to try that. Another fall one, Trader Joe's Harvest Spaghetti Squash Spirals. Mm, this is gonna make a really good side dish. I'm, I might put chicken on top of it, maybe some ground beef, I don't know, and just make it its own whole meal. I'm gonna try and go through the frozen things and put them away and then show you the rest. Rice cauliflower stir fry, I love this one. I get it every time. I just mix in some ground beef and then I have a whole meal out of it. It's already seasoned and it does taste really good. I got this burrata prosciutto and arugula flatbread. Figured we would like that as like a little cheat snack one day. My cauliflower pizza crust. Mason recently liked some cauliflower pizza, so we will make that for him and I. These are his favorite little pancakes. I made Kodiak cakes for him the other day and he wasn't really having it, so back to the silver dollar ones he goes. The Trader Joe's soft pretzels. We like these with the jalapeno pub cheese. One time they were sampling that. It was just so delicious. So whenever they have them, try and get that. These little pizza spiral thingies. These are for Mason. He had some for lunch today actually. And he was going on like a pizza strike for a while, but he ended up liking these and cauliflower pizza, believe it or not. So picked up another box for him. These are all for my husband. He loves the Trader Joe's like frozen pizzas and they're actually really, really good. They don't taste like a frozen pizza. So we stocked up on three of them because like I said, Trader Joe's is kind of far away. So we wanted to make sure that we had a good amount. I got these hot dogs for Mason. He hasn't had hot dogs in a really long time, but he used to like them every once in a while, just as like a quick, easy lunch or dinner. So I'm trying to get him like the best ones possible just because I know hot dogs aren't the greatest food for you. But once in a while is perfectly fine. Moderation. These pumpkin ravioli, holy smokes, I try to sample. And you guys, they are delicious. And then this one, the butternut squash ravioli, which I am sure will be equally as amazing. We just got our fair share of ground meats. I got one ground chicken and three ground beefs. Um, honestly, where we live, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that the 96% lean beef is the cheapest at Trader Joe's compared to Aldi, Costco, anywhere else we've ever tried. Um, Trader Joe's just has it for the best price even compared to like local grocery stores, which we actually don't even really go to anymore. We mostly just do Aldi, Costco, Trader Joe's, sometimes Target or Walmart if I need something like small. The Heavenly Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups, so dangerous, but so good. I've limited myself to just getting one now when I go. I used to get two, but these are a real danger in the household. Got this cheese which was seasonal it's a goat cheese um i always try and do goat cheese now when i can i really like it i used to hate it but um it is dairy free so this apricot cherry cranberry goat cheese and it's pretty fall colors i got this other fall cheese creamy toscano cheese dusted with cinnamon i thought that was so interesting i wonder how it'll taste Got this little pack of um, like chorizo and those kind of like deli meats. We really like those just to snack on. We got this, whoa, where's the label? <laughs> there it is, Harvest Alfredo sauce. I had never seen such a thing and it just sounded so yummy to pair with one of the raviolis. That's just gonna be good, I can tell. If you guys have tried it already, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it or not. Got this apple cider jam. I was torn between this or the um, pumpkin butter, but this was a little bit better macro wise. It's just like a little treat. Maybe put it on some of that keto bread that I got at Aldi as like 
a toast in the morning. So I thought that would be yummy. I always like to grab a Trader Joe's peanut butter when I go. They're good for like the longest time in the world till 21. Um, and the only ingredient is just peanuts. So that's why I like to get theirs and they're a dollar 99. So I don't know too many other places you can find peanut butter made from just peanuts, no added sugars or anything for a dollar 99. I got us some more apple cider vinegar. We used this on spare ribs the other day and our container's almost out. So maybe I'll start drinking it too. If you guys have any good ACV recipes, let me know in the comments. If you drink it daily, let, also let me know if you've seen any benefits to drinking it. I haven't tried that. Some rainbow peppercorns, we were out. This seasoning is so good. We put it on like chicken, ground beef. I don't know, something about it is just like we always have to have one of these in our house. Grab these for my husband, he requested some chips. So I got the quinoa and black bean infused tortilla chips. Moving on to produce over here, he also loves figs. So I saw that they had them, they're in season right now. So I grabbed one of those. Some tomatoes, I just like to toss those in salads. It seems like the prices in avocados around here are finally dropping. They were so expensive for the longest time. But I got these mini avocados. I like them because you can basically eat the whole thing and not feel guilty calorie wise, if you are counting calories. Got the kale and broccoli slaw. I love the one from Costco. I'm assuming that this is very similar. It looks like it, judging by the ingredients. So I love to have that with like a meat on top as a meal. Got some kale. I have a great kale recipe. If you want to know that, let me know down in the comments and I'll film it one day. Some baby spinach. Um, I was actually doing some research online and I read that you should get organic spinach when possible. That's like the one that has the most, you know, um, I don't know if it's like pesticides or whatnot on it, but I try and get just organic spinach when I can. But Mason has really been liking spinach in his eggs, believe it or not. So I'll take it. Sweet potatoes just for roasting. And then lastly is just some apples. I hope you guys enjoyed this Trader Joe's haul. Let me know what your seasonal favorites are so I can try them next time. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, thank you so much if you already did.